Hello everyone and welcome back to another die cash review. Now, first things first, you probably can already hear it. It's raining outside. I need videos for today. Uh, I do not have any pre-recorded and it's raining right now. And I will be busy this day. Therefore, I cannot record during the day, edit and upload. So, me and you both have to fight with the rain. Hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. Hopefully it's not too loud. But anyway, yeah, we got a die cast. Actually, we got two diecast review. I'm going to upload these today, which is Kevin Harvick's. I think this is the Clash paint scheme. Uh, Pit for Bush. I believe this is ran into the Clash. And then I got this diecast here, uh, which is William Byron's 24 Hertz. That will also be reviewed later today. This will be either first or uh, second. I might put it first just because I mentioned the Byron later today. So yeah, I might just go with this one first. But anyway, fantastic looking paint scheme from Kevin Harvick. I almost said Kyle Bush or whatever for whatever reason. Probably because of the Bush. But yeah, just like the number 9, Noah Gragson, just like his win, uh, the number 4 has this silver, like a metallic silver type scheme, and it, just, it looks really, really nice. Just a really fantastic paint scheme. Lionel does a really good job with this paint. Uh, unfortunately, there's some decals along the way that don't have a very good outline. That kind of messes it up, but either way, I think it looks pretty good. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get this die cast review underway. Here's the die cast out of the box, and once again, I apologize for the rain. Uh, I'm trying to talk over it as much as I can. I'm trying to get it, you know, drowned out by my voice. Uh, but, you know, we just have, both have to deal with it. I didn't know it was going to rain, and I didn't realize that I was going to be busy, and I didn't also realize that I had videos that I needed to record and upload. So I'm like, oh crap, I better do that now before I go to bed. It's like 1 o'clock right now, and it's raining, of course. Unfortunate, but that's just how it is here. It seems like it's always raining. It, which worried me because I thought my mud was going to get completely dry. Uh, but no, it's been raining so much here and I can't help it, obviously. But yeah, I do apologize for, you know, the weather. Hopefully it kind of gets better when we go to the William Byron review. But as of right now, we just got to deal with it. But with that being said, let's take this Kevin Harvick diecast out of the, well not out of the package, but off of the base and actually get a review. Just like that, the die cast is off of that plastic base that we all love and, you know, enjoy. But anyway, at first, I was not planning to pick up this die cast. I'm like, eh, it, like, it's cool and all, but I'm not really into the actual scheme or, you know, how it is. Then I saw the review from Die Cast Buffet, and then I had a little bit of extra money. So I'm like, you know what? Why not? I got the extra money. It's a great paint scheme. It really is. I just... I didn't, I wasn't really a fan of it. I didn't think it was anything to go crazy over. But I'm like, you know what? I like Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick has a, you know, a few decent paint schemes. And this is definitely one of the better ones. So I'm like, you know what? Why not? Why not just go ahead and get it? Get it out of the way. Do a review. Put it in the stop motion. Speaking of, you can see this on track for the Little Wrangler Cup Series Season 4. Not Season 3. In Season 3, which is right now, we are still in 2019. So we got the, all the Monster Energy schemes and all that stuff, all the Monster Energy drivers. So in 2021, 20, uh, technically 2021, we'll go to a 2020 season. Now the reason it's a year behind is just so I can get paint schemes. I got a question a while ago. It's like, hey, you know, why do you use outdated die casts? I'm like, well, that's because, you know, I can't get all the die cast all at once. Lionel can't release all of those all at once. It has to come with time. So I set my season... Uh, or not my season, but my stop motion series a year back or a season back on purpose so I can catch up on paint schemes. That means, uh, you know, patriotic or just throwback schemes or just whatever, primary schemes, you know, the usual. So that's why I have it set back in 2019. So again, 2019 as of right now, and then in 2021, we'll go to 2020. So we can just kind of get our paint schemes, and this will be one of them. This will definitely be ran at Daytona, but I do not know if it will be ran anywhere else. But Daytona is definitely on the list for sure. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this die cast review. So again, you got that just beautiful silver. Just fantastic. It looks really, really nice. I really like that silver. It's just, it looks really, really good. Just fantastic. Uh, I got Bush Light right here. Let's see. 
Uh, brewed for speed. That's pretty cool. I uh, got some, you know, a lot of flames right here. Not really a lot, but you got a good amount of flames. Got the Ford. The Ford Mustang logo there. Uh, this is a little wonky and it's covering the Stuart Haas logo just a wee bit. Got a black spoiler, which looks really, really nice, I might add. Got the number four, 3M, Lincoln Welders, and Sunoco. Um, oh, right here on the windshield, we got Cup Series, which looks a little, a little scuffed, not gonna lie. It's a little, the printing's a little, you know, off. And then, of course, we got that beautiful, um, detailing job by Lionel with this window right here. You can tell that is completely flush, no issues at all. Uh, that's fantastic. Anyway, got the number four. Got mobile one right there as well. Got a clear background, and I do believe this is ran at. I don't care. I don't know if it was ran at the the Daytona 500, but it had to be ran for at least a clash, uh, because it was ran at Daytona the, at the track itself. So, because there's the roof hatch here, that's a safety issue, or not really an issue. It's a safety um, what mechanic? Not really a mechanic. What? Mechanism, right? Safety mechanism? I don't know. Some type of safety thing. So if the car flips over or it gets some type of accident, like pinched between other cars or something, they can get out of the roof. Because it is a super speedway. They go very, very fast and things could go very, very wrong. Kevin Harvick. Uh, of course, the name plate's right here, which is just Harvick, not Kevin Harvick. Every pit stop, you could win. So I believe it, during, it may have been the 500, but during each pit stop, I don't remember what you could win, but each pit stop that Kevin Harvick made, you had a chance to win, I don't know, it's something, I don't really remember what it was exactly, but you could win, you know, just whatever they was offering. So you got on here, you got just an all silver back, <laughs> looks fantastic, I might add, just really, really nice. Got the Ford, uh, Michigan license plate there, Mobile One, got the four there, Bush lights, got the tail lights there once again. Well, not once again, but you know, it is what it is. We got a exhaust cover. I don't know why. This isn't a race version or anything, but it's got the exhaust cover. Hunt Brothers Pizza, Jimmy John's, Haas, Pit for Bush, Mobile One, geez, oh. That's got a really, really, um, I guess I could say gash in it. That looks awful. That is very, very messed up and very, very wrong. You can see the bottom of the decal right there. That's always nice. Kevin Harvick right there. You got a kind of scrunched up B post right here. You got Ford, Mobile One, Haas, whatever that is, and Hunt Brothers Pizza. You got, let's see, what is this? You got Rush Truck Centers, Oxalta, and you got the Bush Light can there. Oh, and the rain's picking up. That's nice. That's, that's fantastic. I'm not recording or anything. You know, Mother Nature, if you could help me out here. Got the four there. Cup Series, NASCAR race car. It just keeps getting worse, don't it? It just keeps getting worse. Oh, my goodness. Got the Goodyear there. Got 3M Lincoln Welders and Sunoco. I believe I've already said that. But, oh, my goodness, the rain has picked up so much. I'm so sorry for that. But with that note, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, my God.